Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. Let me just put this light on a little bit lighter. Hope you're doing well. Today I've got uh, a binocular holder, a front facing one, uh, rather than just leaving them dangle all the time. This one's the Ridge Stalker X. Have a close up there. This one's the Ridge Stalker X. Yeah, carry your binoculars in. And thought I'd do a little review of it and show you where it fits me. I don't know whether it's going to fit me in binoculars. That's what it looks like on the side. Back. Uh, this is a harness system, as you can see. Box is a bit damaged. Got from Amazon. Obviously, it's been. It was only in like a car body. Uh, like a bag and it just got crushed so anyway the binoculars I'm going to use it for if, if they don't fit they have to go back I have to buy a different make I got this make because it seemed like decent quality not cheap by the way not cheap 50 odd quid for the bag so these are the binoculars I've done a review of these and you can, you can find it on the site uh, these are the Canon image stabilizer binoculars and I'll show you them shortly Instead of carrying it in this bag, I wanted that bag to be attached here so it's not doing this type of thing. So I want to be on my, on my pedal bike, mainly, mainly on my pedal bike, and then stop and then get them out and look. Uh, but also if I'm walking and stuff, it, there's nothing worse than the things just doing this all the time. Yeah, and they're secure, these are like not cheap. And also, I want to be able to carry a thermal thermal monocular on the side, and we're going to look at that as well. So let's just pop it open. I've never opened it yet, so I was come last night, and I started wait till the morning to do this. There's just still like a gel bag in there, and that's it really. Let's just close this. Okay. Hopefully the mic, I haven't got my lab mic on, I should have put that on, but I haven't. That's what she looks like. Let's do a little pan round. This has the straps for attaching the binoculars, so I can take the main lanyard off and I'll show you that shortly. Anyway, that's what she looks like. She's got some molly things on the bottom, so you can attach stuff. You can attach, there's a little back little bag at the side, another molly attachment just here, it's a bit tight but, and then you got another molly there. The, it opens just by pushing this little clip, like a bun, like a, a bungee cord, soft material, uh, it's like, it's not, I thought it was going to be like a velvet type of material. Uh, anyhow, uh, it's just like like a I don't know what that material is. It's just like like a like a it's not coarse, it's smooth. It's just not like uh, like you'd expect, like fluffy. Anyhow, let's just unravel these straps. So you've got a buckle. I'll step back a bit. A buckle. There's loads of different ones of these, and some of them go like ridiculous prices. Uh, I nearly bought one, which I might leave the link if I can find it from Amazon, and it was like half the price of this. It just didn't look as good, you know what I mean? So this just the cardio and everything, and uh, everything felt better. That pocket's really small, man. That's it's on on the website. That, that pocket. I was thinking I was going to get that. It. <laughs> no chance. So my thermal. What, what that's good for is. A uh, multi tool, torch, a flashlight, that's about it really. That is so small, I don't even know what you put in there. Spray, some sort of pepper spray if you're uh, uh, inclined or whatever, I don't know. So there's the system, let me just touch that. It's hard to see there. really small actually it's a bit too it looks a bit too small to me we're really obsessed with the, making them so small for 
Now this one's twisted, so I have to untwist that. But it might be okay. Yeah, so that's what it looks like. We'll try it on a moment. I'll put that off in a sec. So these, uh, th th there's the straps I was talking about. Bring it in closer. So from th from there, you get these two. We okay, can attach to your binoculars. So you just get them out and you can use them and put them back in. Yeah, that's what it looks like from the front. You've got a zip. I'm not spending too much time on this. It's a tiny pocket. What the hell are they make these? Why put the thing in? I'm a bit disappointed in straight away, but the quality looks good. There's a cleaning cloth. That's all you can get in there. Fantastic. Seems a bit overkill. Just a little pouch where you just like like a bit like that would have done. Yeah, but uh, everything seems a bit too small. But uh, let me just try because I have to try the binoculars first. And then I did. I did do a quick measurement. I can't remember what they are now, but so this is the case these go in, and these are to hold. It's going to be to hold these binoculars, which are expensive. Image stabilizer binoculars. Yeah. This is quite thick here, so I'm a bit like concerned about that. And I'm going to take these off. Uh, I'll probably buy some of the ones where you can clip on. So if I'm just not using the bag, I can still use a lanyard rather than strapping it all up. Okay, let's just see if it fits. Can you see that? You can see that. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, about the same thing. Oh, there's a back. There's, uh, there's a pouch at the back as well. I've just seen, uh, which maybe phone maybe. Just because it's new, might need stretching a little bit. Let's see if it go in that way. So, ah, oh, yes. Well, cool. That's good. There you go. Fantastic. Uh, I would probably wouldn't put anything else in. And then this, you just hook it on and snap it. It's like, it's like uh, it won't come off unless you like snap it back. I think you can uh, do it, make it tighter for longer binoculars. Say your binoculars were like that and higher. Obviously you can just stretch that more or you can double, double it down if you've got smaller binoculars. But to be fair, it doesn't really matter because that just clicks in and that won't come out until you snap that. Uh, yeah, that in. I'll probably have my binocular attached, I'll rig something up. Oh, look at that there, that's like... There's a hole there and that's like elasticated material so you can probably get something in there but I'll probably have that monocular attached like this somehow I don't know uh, but yeah so far that looks good so let's pop them back out and obviously I'll attach the straps and show you it uh, uh, the most expensive pair of binoculars I've owned and I don't want to damage them and that's why I bought this so yeah looks really high quality now I'll probably be wearing that with like that type of like a coat like this this is my uh, favourite uh, coat if you want to go out it's waterproof it's quiet, it's got silent zips. Uh, it's, it's just a really, really comfortable coat. The hood's good, everything's good about it. So that's what I probably wear on my travel on to see whether it'll go under it and put the coat over the top of it and then just zip the coat open to get them out and zip the coat. So if it's raining, I can protect that as well. Uh, let me just put my phone down. Uh, so, You just snap this off at the bottom, like 
because I've never used one of these before so uh, it looks like it just goes in there and that goes over the top obviously it needs adjusting that goes underneath actually not too bad Is that right so far? And you can cinch all these down. Uh, just try them out. That's what it looks like from the back. It doesn't feel uh, too bulky. Not close there. This thing's going to whack you in the face a lot, but. Yeah! Yeah! I, I did prefer one with openings down. That makes more sense to open down. Uh, I don't know why they haven't done that. that. That's like if I was designing a bag, that's one of the first things I'd do. Oh, it's hitting me face, let's open it that way. So they're going to go in that way. Snug. Very snug. Uh, let me just. I mean, they're going to be took off. And then, without looking, you can just, there. So you can have them higher up, you readjust, have them lower down, higher up. Let me just try my jacket on, this coat. You can have it over the top of the coat, or, or below the coat, whatever you want to do. So, uh, See how bulky it looks. It's fine. So if it's raining, this is a big enough coat. Uh, yeah, it's in the pockets. So if I was chucking it down, you're all right. There. I'm just gonna keep this protected a bit, and then when you need to use it. You can just pop that open like that. So yeah, that's probably how I'd have it. So rather than over the top of my cup. But you can you can do it either way if it's like if it's raining and I have this over the top, so this is on the outside and this is zipped up, that's gonna probably it's probably waterproof, I've never checked. I would I would think it would be. But depends what you're doing, doesn't it? You've got the options really. So I'll take this off. Uh, and also, I want to be using it on a bike. So if I'm pedalling and leaning forward, it's not going to be banging back and forward. So I'm pretty, you know, I need to use them just to uh, see that one there. I went for that one instead. I prefer not to have the stupid pocket on. I might take that off. I just never use I'll never use that. And if I need to clean it, use that, just my fingers. I'll probably take this little stupid thing off. Because I'll end up going for this all the time. Uh, and if they, why didn't they make the zip close this side? I suppose you could switch it around that way, but just for me, it's just my right hand does that, and my left hand. Well, you could have it that way, so you, you're never always going to go with the left hand. Anyway, that's just minor problem. That just you can tuck in under there. Obviously, if it's not raining, it's a nice day. You can just leave that like that, can't you? All the time they're not going to fall out. Smash! Now they're not going to fall out. I'll move a little bit, but yeah, they're not going to fall out. And if they do, they're going to be attached with that anyway. And then you've got, you can do them. So they're going to be attached to the binoculars. So if you want to pass them to somebody, it really looks like good quality stitching. Uh, Put it on the website and pick up a couple more of these these bits so I can put on a different lanyard. So I've got them on that one. Yeah. And obviously to get them out you just pull pull on this a bit. Like you do a pull on there. And then you've got your binoculars uh, to use. So I'll put them there. And then I want to be able to now if it was night time I wouldn't need them binoculars, so you could just put that in there. 
so you can still use that into there without. Let me open this. This is the neoprene thing which I thought was going to go into there. Can I stretch that? No. And then I'll figure a way out to connect that to there or connect it to there. But to be honest, that's not bad. That's pretty good for thermal. I've done a video of this thermal uh, thermal spotter. It's a that's the mic. You can check that video, video out. Hit micro. You can just leave that under there like that, and that's going to be. You can even connect. Oh, yeah, you, can, you can connect it to one of them things again, so you're never going to drop it. And that's in there when you need it. It's there. Or you could even just leave it hanging down. If it's not like wet weather, you could leave it hanging there. It's hard to say, but you can leave it hanging there and then when you need it. So we really touch it up to there so it hangs there. And then we get, if you need it, sort of thing. Okay, so I'll come back to that. That's really everything I can say, guys. Uh, Feels comfortable, really juice, that's what it looks like on the back again. If you can see that. Feels comfortable, doesn't hinder any, anything. That's just there. Uh, and you can use this for other things as well. I mean I have got a belt, a waist belt, which I put my phone in and a few things, and that's pretty flat. And I, I do have different backpacks, the pens, but really, if I'm on my bike, uh, an electric bike and I'll be on my bike and if I stop want to look at something I live near the uh, sea so I'll be going along the sea front seeing things then I'll cap this is mainly for spotting at night obviously so tad. I still got that I had a red parcel coming so I had to go at the door because of that so in the meantime what I've done is I've attached I've took I don't know where I put it there you go I've took this strap off, this Canon strap, which I'll keep, but I wanna, I'm going to buy, or try to make, some of these clips off. I'm not using the case, or the carry case, and I just want to carry this, uh, so I'll keep that for that. Uh, so I've attached these, as you can see, they're easy to use. Took, took out of that, and then there's your oculars, ready to use. Yeah, and then just put them back in when you need to. I think it's pretty uh, pretty useful, hands free, get what you want, do what you want. Uh, you can cinch these down a bit tighter if you want. It fits these really good. So these are 10B30s. Uh, I don't really have any other binoculars. Uh, I've got some, but I do. I don't really use them though, because it just wants to use it as a phone going again. As soon as I'm doing a video, so you are. As soon as I do a video, the phone's ringing. Just work. Off. Leave me alone. See so you guys. Uh, I'm going to wrap this video up uh, for this. There's nothing else I can say really. You just hold your binoculars. It's good quality. The double stitching around the stressed areas. It just it's probably waterproof. I've never read the instructions. It looks like it's going to be splash proof, but there's too many little holes where water could get through. But certainly going to protect them. Uh, uh, and obviously with these, you can just leave them at the front. And then when you want them, just there. Then when you just, so you're not going in and out all the time. Uh, that's just perfect. Or if you drop them, I'd be quite happy to do that. Or even if you just put them in a little bit. Uh, and then when you leave them just there. So that's going to give it a little bit of protection rather than you still don't want to be doing this uh, but so far uh, I'm really pleased with them and then when you're finished and you're back on your bike again you can just do that one handed it's excellent quality I'll probably experiment with different heights maybe it might be best high lower a bit tighter I haven't really done it's just on loose because depending on what you're wearing, if you're wearing a coat on the outside. Uh, but these things are fantastic. I think I'm so glad to put them in. I've twisted that one a bit, but I can untwist that, no problem. 
one of those. Yeah, and then the next job is to find somewhere to mount uh, this. Uh, so I'm going to use this to obviously spot thermal signatures, heat sources, and then binoculars to, uh, to do that. So yeah, uh, anyway, hope you like this video guys. Uh, if you did, give us a thumbs up, give us a like, any comment, leave below and I'll try to answer the, uh, answer the, I'm not an expert on these, but they are quite expensive, but once you've got them, you've got an expensive pair of binoculars, you don't want to damage them and lose them. And yeah, it is quite padded a little bit, comes with a few little pockets, because uh, some of these you can put up under pound four. Uh, and at the end of the day, as long as you protect these, uh, because if you if you had like a cheap bag, like that bag there, which is okay, but it's a flimsy, thin, it's not enough for any protection, certainly not going to be waterproof. Um, so something like this, it leaves your arms free, put them down, you can ride the bike, stop, and so on. Uh, and if you're just walking, it just means you've got so much Well, that you've got to carry over your shoulder because I'll, I'll, I'll probably carry my backpack as well or maybe a bum bag at the back um, so I don't really know, yeah, usually food and things so guys, I uh, hope you like this, any questions leave below and I'll catch you in the next one thanks for watching, see you later